When was the last time you did something for the first time? Seguimos con burn after writing. When was the last time you did something for the first time? The last time that I did something for the first time was the other day where I went to the movie theaters with my husband and both of my kids. I've, will you guys believe I've never been to the movie theater with both of my kids? My kids are 14 years apart. One is 22, the other one is eight. And it was very hard to get them together. But we finally found a movie that we both like, which was Spider-Man. I enjoy this Spider-Man like you have no idea. Really, really liked it. And I was sitting with my husband and then my kids were like over there because it's one of those fancy movie theaters with like reclinables and we were looking at each other and then we looked at the kids over and it was like yo this is the first time the four of us are in the movies that was my last first time Seggy must come burn after writing everybody and now it's looking back the music i loved as a child you know what's funny the music i loved as a child it was everything outside of cuba cualquier musica any music that was not Cuban, I loved it. Con el anhelo, with the whole thing of, oh, I want to leave the country, you know? Um, but you know what's funny? <laughs> Everything that comes out of Cuba now, it's what I like. Before, it was like, informa, da, 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 da. And, that, and then it was like, huela, huela, da, da. Y ahora, it's absolutely every single reparto music, which is, reminds me of Cuba. So, like, that makes me think that I was very blessed and I didn't realize what I had. Oh, the first thing I bought with my own money. Jesus Christ. I was, I, I worked at Walgreens, right? And minimum wage. And I did overtime. And I remember it was a very good week when it was inventory. And I did so much overtime. And I bought, I went to Bordines. Bordines. Bordines, okay? Uh, doesn't exist anymore. It's now, I don't even know, Macy's, I think it is on the beach. It was on Alton Road, Bordines, you know? I, no, it wasn't on Alton Road. I don't remember. It was on the beach somewhere. Lincoln, uh -uh. Bordines. <laughs> and I got a black dress that was very tight and it was like, it was very nice and tight and it had like manguitas like over here. And then with that same money, I ordered some shoes from Victoria's Secret that were super uncomfortable, but they were very simple and I felt the sexiest thing in the world and I bought that with my own money. Oh, this book is getting good. Burn after reading, y'all. Um, The age at which I became an adult. There's a story behind this. The age where I became an adult was 18 because I had a son at 18. So I had to be an adult, but no one is an adult at 18. So I feel that the age that I had to become an adult when I realized that I was the adult is a few years ago when my grandmother passed away. And I'm, that's it. I don't have any more grandparents. I have my mother, you know? That right there made me realize that I was already a legit adult. I don't know why. I've been on my own for a while. I have taken care of my mother since my mother um, stopped working 15, I don't even know how many years ago. And I don't know why I, I felt like an adult when my grandma died. Wow. The person <laughs> who had the greatest impact on your life. Besides my son, my oldest son, which has definitely had the greatest impact on my life, I don't give him enough credit, but my husband. My husband has been the man with the great, the person in my life with the greatest impact. This man came to my life for the first time to make me feel that loved. You know how hard it is to feel loved? He did that. Um, on top of that, he has supported me. He has been my backbone, my roots, my everything. Um, he has the greatest impact on my life definitely my husband everything that i do um comes not doesn't come from him but comes with his approval even without telling him he's all right with it so that has impacted my life like you guys have no idea and he's not a father figure in my life he's a husband figure in my life and that is important to have <clears throat> the person I have loved the most. Me. I don't know why I feel bad confessing this. I love myself a lot. Um, I've learned how to love myself through all the issues that I have had in life, through all the negativity around me 
through all the judgment from society to all the letting me down to all the doors that have closed on me because of who I am or who I decide to be. I have loved myself the most. Yes, I have to say that even though I do put everybody else in my life before me, you know, I have loved myself the most because when myself wants something, myself gets it. When myself needs something, myself gets it. So I have definitely learned to love myself. So I definitely love myself the most. <laughs>